This video explains how to add an endorsement to a policy in QQ Catalyst. Bring up a customer on your screen and then select the Policies tab. Choose the policy that you want to endorse. To add an endorsement, click on the Endorse button on the toolbar. The Endorsing a Policy page appears. Enter an endorsement number and endorsement effective date, as well as indicate a reason for the endorsement. If the reason for the endorsement does not appear in the list, contact your agency administrator and request that reasons be added to the list for this location. Also, you will be the default CSR, but you can select any employee at the location to which this client is associated. When this information is complete, Click on the Next button to enter details about the endorsement premium changes. Without including any taxes or fees, let's enter the base endorsement premium. If you were endorsing a package policy, QQ Catalyst would show all the lines of business associated with the package so that all of them could be endorsed if needed. Click on Add Carrier Fees to enter an itemized list of carrier fees associated with this endorsement. When you are done, click Next to proceed. Enter any fees that your agency charges. These agency fees will be included in the payment calculated on the next step. The fee you enter can be a dollar amount or a percentage of the endorsement base premium. Once you are done entering fees, click Next to continue. On this page, QQ Catalyst calculates the total down payment due based on premium down plus all agency fees that have been entered. Enter the premium down portion if there is any. To add or remove agency fees, you must do so on the previous agency fee step. If your agency is collecting a down payment on the endorsement, you must place a check next to Premium Due to Agency in order for a billing entry to be created that includes premium. This option is only available for direct bill policies. By default, an agency bill policy will automatically create a premium due billing entry. Once you are done entering information for the down payment, click on the Finish button. The Endorsement tab screen appears showing the endorsement you have just added as well as the previous endorsements. Notice that when you create an endorsement, QQ Catalyst automatically sets its status to Pending. While the status is still pending, you can edit the endorsement. You can also select the Decline option when processing an endorsement. Decline indicates that the endorsement changes will not be added to the policy. When you change the status to Approved, QQ Catalyst provides a caution message. Once you click OK, Catalyst will update the policy premium and commissions and create bills for those amounts. These will all be visible on the Billing tab for this policy. Once an endorsement is approved, it can be viewed, but it is not editable. If an endorsement is approved by mistake, you can always create another endorsement to correct that mistake. Here's what you have just seen in this video. How to endorse a policy. How to change the status of the endorsement. Additional selections can be added to the following field. Reasons for endorsement. Please contact your agency administrator to add selections to this field. 